Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm out here in Moncock. It's been a while since I've been out shooting street tech, but I have a very special phone to show you here and a quick comparison of none other than the Pixel 4a. There it is. And your first look on Frankie Tech of the Pixel 4a. Now you may be wondering, but Frankie Tech, we've seen this phone to death. But what you haven't seen, guys, is my take on this incredible value champ from Google and finally have my hands on with this phone and this phone retails for 350 US dollars and I would say it is the best value in terms of what you get in a phone in 2020 in the US but what I want to do here in my coverage of this pixel 4a is really compared to phones that you never see other channels and other reviewers compared to and that is all the value champs that you see here on Frankie Tech like the K30 Ultra and other phones like the Mino 10 Lite, which I know has a very similar chipset as this phone. But let me give a quick initial impressions of this phone. So talking about the specs here, design, we got this plastic back, but I gotta say much, it feels much more premium in the hand than I expected. 5.81 inch display. It is looking very nice, honestly, initial impressions. I did not expect these small bezels either. Yes, it's a little bit bigger than what you see on kind of the latest Xiaomi, Samsung type phones, but it is very respectable. And this is really the first modern looking Pixel phone that I've seen. In terms of processor, Snapdragon 730G, and we know that's been a terrific processor, honestly, for the price. Even at 350, I still think it's a great deal for this phone. Six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and a 3,140 milliamp battery, which according to a lot of videos I've watched, can last for a day and then some. And finally, a single camera on the back, 12 megapixel, but this is the pixel camera, which means you have a phone with a camera that goes toe to toe with the flagship phones of the market. And so that is why I got this pixel phone to really see is this daily driver level and could I use this over an iPhone 11 Pro Max? But what now, as you guys know, the Pixel 4a represents probably the value champ in the US, but what we have here in Asia, obviously here in Hong Kong, from the likes of Xiaomi and many more, are phones that just offer even more incredible value. And I have here the K30 Ultra, which I consider the value champ of 2020 so far. And here you see them next to each other. Consider this a preview of my upcoming video. It's Xiaomi's value champ versus Google's value champ. Look at this glossy back on the K30 Ultra versus plastic back on the Pixel 4a. But I gotta say the Pixel is looking very understated and you know considering 2020 is one of these years it is super it's been a challenging year to say the least I think this phone really reflects the type of phone that I think a lot of people want to see this year beyond that the design is very different but on the front it's even more different and you see these phones right next to each other 5.8 inch versus 6.67 this this K30 Ultra is just in another league when it comes to display size, but I still think the display quality of this Pixel 4a is looking really nice. And in terms of processors, obviously, we have the Dimensity 1000 Plus versus the Snapdragon 730G. Now, do you really think that this phone is gonna offer the same performance as the Dimensity 1000 Plus. It won't, but I still think this is a great chipset. I've seen it in the Mi 9T, the Mi Note 10 Lite, and I still think it's a terrific mid-range chipset. Now, obviously, we're gonna to have to talk about audio and camera and all that stuff comparing to these phones, but I don't think, and this is the crazy part, I don't think, despite how good the cameras are on this K30 Ultra, that they will be able to match the quality of the shots that you get on something like the Pixel 4a. And let's finish up this quick video here with a Frankie Tech camera shot, the first here on the Pixel 4a in three, two, one. There we go. And let's look at those results. As you notice, it took a second there to process, but that is looking like a stunning shot. And I told you guys, if you remember, I tweeted about a month back, remember this photo, I took a shot of the harbor here in Hong Kong with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I told you guys that if this Pixel 4a was able to match or better that shot, that I would use this phone as my daily driver. And guys, I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick to that promise here. This phone 
in terms of camera quality is up there with the flagships and I really don't think that this K30 Ultra, despite every other good aspect of it, that it will be able to match what the Pixel 4a is able to offer here in terms of camera. But anyways, just a quick video here, my first look of the Pixel 4a and how it kind of matches up with what Xiaomi is offering here in the middle part of 2020. And I can't wait to fully test this one out and do a full comparison between the K30 Ultra. And let me know also what other phones you would like to see compared with this Pixel 4a here. Anyways, let's leave it on the other side because I do think this black back is actually very understated, but I love this accent button. And I think it makes for a really nice parting shot and that's it guys. If you like this video, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Ranky Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Stay tuned guys for more great Pixel 4a coverage, more great coverage of the upcoming phones, Realme X7 Pro. And maybe we'll see the Poco X3 on the channel at some point. Wink, wink, maybe we'll see. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this one. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one.